I'll catch you yet, <laughs> you little devil. I'll stop your silly laughter. You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> Cristobal? I think you fell down on purpose. Come on, get on your feet. You actor, you can't trick me. Chris? You're not really hurt. Are you, Chris? You're trying to scare me. Chris, come on now. <laughs> Shame on you. You're an awful tease. <laughs> Dolly Marie, you must know you're teasing me almost every moment we're together. You're like the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, you know? All I want is a kiss from you. Why must you deny that? <laughs> ah! Ah! Catch me! <laughs> you little witch! <laughs> me <laughs> oh yes I can and then I'll take my revenge oh, padre excuse us we didn't mean to bother you you didn't bother me my child but what about God Marie where are you it is your lustful and wanton behavior in front of God's servant oh what's that what are you saying you weren't doing any wrong I watched your wicked and shameful behavior I don't understand what we have done that was so wicked. Who are your parents? There's only mother and me. I don't know my father. How old are you? Fifteen years old. And you, my son? Only seventeen. Go home now and wait for me there. We must talk then. If I find out you have defiled but this I... child, you will surely be severely punished. What then about the commandments, my son? I would never do anything wrong to Marie. You see, we plan to be married. What's that foolishness? You scoundrel. She has exposed you. You lie. I meant what I said, Marie. Would you go with him, then? No. Where do you live? Not far. I must talk to your mother.
She's always been a God-fearing girl, Padre. A devoted daughter. I can't imagine what got into her. She will surely be condemned to hell if she continues to run loose. Mother of God. She must take instruction in the laws of the Bible. Oh, Padre, what can I do? I must work to support both of us. My life is that of a washwoman. Very praiseworthy, yet it's not enough. Your wine is good. May I give you a bottle of it? I prepare it myself. You're a capable woman. But you mustn't believe it makes a difference about her salvation. Your child is under the influence of Satan. You and I must save her. We must break the hold which the devil has on her. There is only one way. She will become a novice in a church cloister. At my request and your permission. Whatever you say, God bless you, Padre. Mm. I'm so confused. Oh, the Abbey of Serraderis, where I serve as confessor, admits the highborn girls only, but I believe it can be easily arranged. I will convince them to allow the child to enter the convent. One more thing. We will adjust the price of admission for you. That sum which you save for her dowry. Should Marie leave the convent for some reason, the dowry is ours. It can't be returned. What dowry? I'm a poor woman. I have very little to give. You can see that. You must have saved a little. In 20 years, tell me the truth. Think now, you probably put some money away. What's money compared to the soul of your poor child? Padre, I don't have money. What am I to do? You are responsible then for her sins and you will join her in purgatory. Children of Satan condemned both of you. Would you make your child a martyr to our holy inquisition? Oh, not that. Please, Padre. What can I do to save her? You must help us. Holy Mother of God and all the saints in heaven have mercy. <gasps> I have put aside 500 reals to take care of us in case I fall ill. 500? Won't be enough. Mm. At least it shows your good intention to save Marie. See what you've done, child. Now I will live a life of misery because of you. I'll be glad when you've gone. You can rest assured of that, brave mother, once she's been betrothed to God. Because then she will remain within the holy walls of Seraderis Cloister. Won't I even get to see Mother? What an idea. I will visit you often. But there she will not be sinfully tempted. I am the only man allowed within its walls. When we are young, the will is strong, but the flesh is weak. We better leave now. Night comes soon. God will light the way to our holy sanctuary. But, Padre, is it very far away, the cloister of Seraderis? It's a long journey, even with a horse. You could never walk that far. Oh, my child. This is where you will live. I never thought it would be so beautiful. It is well known as the most beautiful abbey in Portugal.
right. She's really very pretty, a beautiful girl. Tell me your name, child. Marie. Always address me, most eminent priestess. I didn't know that. You're just an ignorant peasant. Forgive me. Now you know how to address me. Yes, most eminent priestess. Are you a virgin? Yes, eminent priestess. Mm. Remove your frock. We must prove that before you are admitted to this cloister. It will not matter that you're exposed in front of Father Vincent. He alone is master and protector of your soul. He rules your body as well. Now lift up your skirt. She's as meek as a little lamb. <laughs> lamb to slaughter. Lift your skirt up higher. 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 No stockings? We're poor. I don't have any. Well, I'm not surprised. You've had a wanton and modest life. Now spread your legs apart. More. Wider. All right. You must relax. Don't brace your muscles. Be still. More cooperative. You are fighting. You want me to hurt you, huh? I can see you're going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. There it is. Luckily, you told the truth. Intact. Well, you are pure. Indeed. The hymen is very firm. <laughs> the virginal hymen. I understand that you have found this to be very disagreeable. Put it out of your mind. Our order requires that we accept virgins very pure and proven to be virtuous. We make a present of our chastity to the divine and holy prince we serve. You must confess to Father Vincent before you can wear the novice robe. Josephina, show her to her cell. My grace. After she has made her confession, she will remain in her cell for three days in total isolation and in constant prayer. Then Father Vincent and I will receive her here. Forgive this faithful servant the wicked sins which she has committed against you while under the influence of Satan. Have pity on us. May this child be welcome in your sight. And grant her your grace. That our Lord will forgive her sins for as long as she walks this earth. Forgive this faithful servant the sins which she has committed against you. Spiritus Sanctus. When did you make confession? I guess about three months. Did you confess all your sins, my child? I forgot one, because I was ashamed. Why were you ashamed? Because I... I am not really sure. Oh. Was your flesh weak? Did you ever experience pleasure when you tempted the lad? It wasn't only him. Um, others? Now tell me exactly what you've done. What child? Mm. But... Did you excite these young lads? I don't know, Padre. I mean, you might have touched them, their bodies. Once our lips touched. Well, lips, perhaps there were other parts that you stroked. I, I, well, I touched his chest one time, I confess. I don't believe that's all, hmm? I suppose not. There was that time with Christopher. Twice with him. Where did you touch him, huh? What did you do, huh? I didn't exactly touch him. You aroused his passions. I didn't mean to. You see, Christopher wanted me to touch something personal. I ran away then. I was angry. Better tell me all. Were you tempted by that? You weren't wearing proper underlinen? Tell me. But I was too. But he never asked me to touch his thing again. Even when we were alone. He said that when we marry, I must play with it. Put it places, you know. What do you mean by that? Talk. 
Well, probably where her eminence touched. Once it seems there was another place for it, but that was in a dream I had. Well, it seems that your dreams aren't even pure. For absolution, you should repent for dreams as well. I do. Huh, poor girl. He delights in her sins. <laughs> <laughs> What's more? In my dream, my cousin was at my house and suddenly he was naked. I started to scream, but he closed my mouth and threatened to beat me if I didn't do what he wanted. Then he pushed my head down and pressed my face against him. And he made you take something in your mouth, didn't he? I had to do it then, but it was horrible. I was frightened almost to death. I felt like I was choking. Ah. Oh. You resisted, huh? Not enough. Mm. Were you stimulated? What stimulated? I'm not so sure. Uh, were you upset, maybe excited? Oh. Oh. Is there something wrong, Padre? Oh. Oh. Don't you feel well? Repent, my child. Was your cousin in your dreams often? No, I dreamt one time. I never see him now. He left the village to be a soldier. <sighs> you see, I never saw him after that dream. But what if you had? Not in dreams, but... Uh, would you perform the same deed awake? No. But through your dreams you have sinned terribly, you know that. We will purify you with a bush of thorns. Can't I be forgiven through prayers? You must never question what I tell you. Your soul is mine. Ego de absolvo. God has forgiven the sins of your flesh. Be thankful. Josephina, who lives in that huge castle? It is the home of the Grand Inquisitor and also the headquarters of the Tribunal of the Holy Inquisition. Don't touch those. Those clothes are consecrated. That is the rule here. The Grand Priestess will come and dress you herself. Why do you call her the Grand Priestess? You'll soon find out. This is an unusual abbey, you'll see. Don't worry, though. We'll all help you to adjust. Please count on that. Oh, what pretty hand, so small. Almost like a child's hand. Come in. Oh, this is Sister Antonia, and I'm Sister Joanna. We're the youngest novices here. We three must always stick together. My name is Maria. Let me welcome you with a sisterly kiss. If you want to be friends, we'll stand by you. The apple, Antonia. <laughs> we try to liven things up here with silly games. Will you play with the two of I'd us? Love to. <laughs> Here's our game. <laughs> now it's your turn. Are you sure it's not a sin? <laughs> Don't be a spoiled sport. Nothing's wrong with Cain's child. After all, sinning is not that bad. Of course, if you always think about sinful deeds, just too bad. You're really out of luck here. Now take the apple, silly child. Go on. <laughs> What's going on here? <gasps> Well, now. My dear, it seems you make friends very quickly. It was all our idea. Loyal friends, too. We will discuss this another time, ladies. Get out. So 
sorry, I... Remove your garment. Now. You will not get dressed again for three days. You will do strict penance for your wickedness. This penance maybe will drive out the demons which live in you. Father Vincent has ordered it. He knows what is best for your soul's sake, exactly. In order to please our Lord, you must change your ways. You're shy. Mm First penance. I hope that you can stand this small trial of ours. It will be the first of several tests. This thorny path is but yours alone. The pain is the price you pay for your salvation. The way is hard. It is all up to you. Now. the darkness, prince of all evil. I have prepared myself for your purpose. I have soaked in bat's blood. I pranced with your sign on my head. Awaken your fleshy desires in the lamb's holy place. Make this servant a basket for your fruit. Pass over prince of darkness this night. I freely give myself to serve your evil. Are you ready? Yes, supreme priestess of Hades. Please, Satan, do not deny me. May your will be done. Amen. Take your places. You'll serve as midwives to the son of Satan, O eternal prince of darkness. May we serve you, master. Grant my prayers. The poult is made from a baby's heart. Vincent will punish me.
all night. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Should we ask her? I washed her sheets. They were all bloodied. It's starting all over again. Satan triumphs. God help us. Where is God now? Did you find your amulet? Yes, I did. Father Vincent was the one who said it. You should do what the old devil says. I always try to. <laughs> Over there. She'll hear us. <laughs> Does Marie repent her sins after her penitence? I am suffering very much. That's all to the good. Triumph over pain strengthens our very souls. I guess I have a weak soul. Because I don't want to suffer. And my body can't stand pain, even though I tried to bear it. You must get used to it. I doubt I can. You will, but only when you can change your attitude. Please help me, Your Eminency. Yes, but only when you show me that you're ready to give me complete obedience and trust. All pleasures of the flesh and desires. We must try to purge. You will learn to be disciplined, and you'll even find joy in it. Grace be yours. When you make each penance, this night you will walk on a bed of thorns, and as the soles of your feet bleed, your soul will purify itself. Marie, it's me. Oh, no. What are you doing here? I beg you to leave right away. And you'll leave with me, Marie. If they find you here, I will be lost. I really must stay here now. Here I will find tranquility and peace. But that's not true. You'll find peace of mind when you marry me. I am betrothed to God. I am unable to marry you now. When I am pure enough, I'll wed the Lord. 
You are speaking nonsense. I am. Christabel. Leave if you love me. St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, all holy saints and archangels, pray for our souls. St. Christopher, St. Paul, St. Jacob, St. Philip, St. Bartholomew, and all the saints and apostles, pray, pray for, for our souls. From our sins and from your wrath, deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us from temptation, from evil and kind, from demon spirits. Name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I regret to announce there is one among us who has promised to love God, but has since broken her pledge in willful disobedience. Let her step forward. We will pray for her soul. Ave Maria, grazie a te, Domus Tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Amen. O oh God, forgive this miserable sinner, be merciful, and welcome this child back into thy fold. Marie, confess your sins. I confess. The Saint Mary, Mother of God, I have sinned against the will of God. I have been disobedient while under the influence of Satan and broken his commandments. And I pray for his forgiveness and his holy salvation. Help me to be a chaste and godly Christian. And therefore, beseech thee to cleanse the sinner for his sake. And I promise the Holy Virgin and all the holy saints that I will sin no more.
please, Sister Josephine, I have a favor to Why are to you ask. so upset, Maria? Well, Sister Antonia said you would forward my letters whenever I brought one to you. Will you take this and do whatever is necessary? Well, who is it for? It's to my mother. Your and I mother. I hope that you will get a tour. Will you? Of course, I'll be happy to take You're care of kind. it. You're most kind. Whom have you mocked and reviled against? To whom have you raised your voice? Because you have raged against me and your arrogance has come to my ears. I will put my hook in your nose and my bit in your mouth and I will turn you back. My dearest mother, I'm sorry this letter must bring such horrible news. You must do everything possible to get me out of here, I beg you. This letter proves that you are a sly and sinful girl. I fear for my very soul and sanity. I think that this is not a Christian convent. Oh, my beloved mother, please, you must believe me, even though it sounds strange, Father Vincent is not what you thought he was. What nonsense. This letter is full of such deceitful lies. The consequences of this letter could have been terrible. Watch it burn, for it's also your soul in hell when you die. What do you think your mother would have felt had she read this letter? She would have died of the shame of giving birth to such a wicked girl. And what if it came to the attention of the Grand Inquisitor, my child? What then? He would have burned your body before you had received the last rites. But we will give you time to repent for this letter of lies. Mark my words. Josephina put Marie in a cell of isolation. She wants to be alone to pray for her soul and to meditate and fast for a certain period. No, I really don't want to do that at all. We will prescribe for you what you want. You'll be allowed no wants or desires other than those we allow you. Now get out of my sight. We'll see that she pays for this. Now that. All right. In there. Well then, child? What do you want of me? Oh, it's time to repent, child. Are you ready? Hmm? Tonight you will sacrifice your sacred virginity. A holy sacrifice. Um, when you will have the privilege at our ceremony. Beforehand, you must prove yourself worthy of this honor. You will do this by performing a task I have chosen for you. Your confession about your dream of your cousin, when he took such lustful liberties, 
has caused me to pray for guidance. Finally, I have come to a decision. You will do to me what you have dreamt you were doing to him, for it must be your penance, Marie. Why didn't you resist him as you do me? I call upon Lucifer. Come, son of darkness. Hear your priestess. I'm here to serve you. Tonight we meet to offer you a pure virgin. Her soul is pure as well, a fine prize for the prince, ruler of all hell. Ready yourself to offer your chaste virginity to the devil himself. Our Father, art in heaven. You will rest in the arms of the devil and feel violent passion in your blood. The devil will possess you completely. He will rape you and you will receive him. Making your belly full with pain and anguish, torment, bloody foulness. The blood of the bat, the vulture's beak. Frog's bladder, snake's venom will arouse your sexual desires. You will bear the son of Satan. Satan, formless, manifest yourself. Time has come. Manifest yourself in human form. Glorify the devil, the prince of darkness. Kneel down and worship him, Satan, who will rupture the holy hymen and fill the virgin womb with fires of hell. Now accept this sacrifice in your frenzy, in your dreadful actions. <laughs> When you're possessed by the devil's fork, the portals of heaven are closed. For all immortal time sealed, you are now a wife to Satan in love with sin, breaking God's commands with joy, Mephisto's bride. Have you finally calmed down? No. How could I after what happened during the night? I'm destined for hell, raped by the devil. You're out of your mind. That's not true. I have been defiled. You're sick. Huh? You're delirious with fever. The sisters sent for me. You have been raving day and night as one possessed. You are confusing your feverish dream with reality. What a fantasy. You have a vivid and lively imagination, you know. You've confused phantoms of fantasy in your feverish nightmares. But now you'll forget these dreams and stop acting stupidly. 
You will stay in confinement until your fevered brain has recovered its sanity. Are you saying that I only dreamt all this? Of course. That's the truth. No! I know Stop that you and that sister! You ravaged She's me! She's no. the devil! <laughs> With God, sister. Oh, can you tell me where the mayor lives? The village mayor? On top of those stairs. I'll show you. No, I'll find him. Thank you. What's the matter? Excuse me, please, Mayor? What can I do for you, little sister? Are you the mayor in this village? At your service, Antonio Fernando de Chiaros Mello. I would like... Mayor of the village. I've just left the convent of Cerraderas. Please, I really must speak with you. Yes, of course, sister. Come in. Please sit down. Well, now, you've come quite a way. I think you might like a glass of bagazza. Yes, that's very kind of you. Oh. oh. Mm. Here you are, little sister. Mm. It will help you uh, restore your composure. Uh. Y you feel better, huh? Now we'll talk. I'm escaping from the cloister. But why, for God's sake? But. Padre Vincent and Mother Abbess, I'm sure, are very good. But when I explain what goes on there, you will understand uh, why I was forced to break away. The Mother Abbess, Padre Vincent, too, are devil worshippers. <gasps> they celebrate the Black Mass there, and they've made a pact with Satan himself. But that's impossible. I often share a glass of wine with the Father. I don't believe that, because I'm sure he follows the Holy Bible. You're joking with me. He is diabolical. He made me do awful things when we were alone, really shameful things. You've got to believe me. He is a wicked man. Mm -hmm. They tried to tell me I was delirious, oh, having nightmares. Child. But I know it all really happened, not a dream like they said. Forgive me. I know nothing of these affairs, and I am, I'm the mayor of the village. And maybe it would be better for you to talk to the Grand Inquisitor. Well, then take me to him. He will certainly understand. And he will help me save those sinners, too. Perhaps you're right. Mm, and God will bless you, I know. You are the only one who can help me, you see. No, I really don't know what's the right thing to do. I'm confused. Mm, I must give it thought. Thank you. 
We have to find her right away. Don't worry about her. She can't have gone far. Grace, Mother Superior, and peace. May the grace of God be yours, Father Vincent. Here we are. Hmm. This novice arrived at my house today. Never and she... mind. We know about her illness. The poor little lost lamb. She has strayed from our fold. It all began with a raging fever. She believes the devil has possessed her body and soul. You shouldn't have run away. I thought it was something like that. But she demanded to go and see the Grand Inquisitor. Well, then, if I hadn't thought about it seriously, see, I would have taken her there first, however. She started raving like a lunatic, or a wild tale she made up. I thought to myself, they'll help her to restore her sanity back at the Abbey. You know about devils and things like that here. <laughs> Isn't that so, Father Vincent? Yes, you've made the right decision. We are very grateful to you for your help. I'm glad to be of service. We really must thank you, Don Antonio. Blame yourself for this. It seems that now we must prove you're possessed by the devil. You will first make your confession to us. Then you'll appear before the Inquisition Tribunal. What a pity. We'll find out if she meant to betray us before the Inquisitor. Our methods of painful discipline will compel her to talk. Do you believe she would have denounced us to the Inquisitor, my dear Alma? That's what I intend to soon find out. We will persuade the witch to plead for mercy. Well, I'm sure she will confess. Mm -hmm. This method will work. Hmm. It has never failed us before, and we will show no mercy because she betrayed us. We must save our order. We can't permit her to destroy what we've established. Fetch the tools of torture. No, no, please. Burn the witch tomorrow. Oh. 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 Take her away. Monsignor Crespo, excuse the interruption. Father Vincent from the Abbey of Seredeus requests an audience. I will receive him. Yes, Your Excellency. Father Vincent, I wonder what brings him here. We'll receive him in private. Your Excellency. 
You may address us. We are listening. An urgent affair demands your attention, Your Holiness. A young novice in our convent is under suspicion. We fear she has lost her faith and been possessed by the devil. That is a serious charge, my son. And you believe, then, that she must appear before us. Is that why you're here? Yes, Your Holiness. It is Your Holiness who must decide whether or not our suspicions are correct. Her very soul is at stake. You must release her from the devil's clutches. You have laid a heavy burden on our heart, my son. It is difficult for us to know for certain whether or not Satan walks among us and under which guise he may appear. He's arriving now. The Inquisitor is here. Sister, call the Mother Abbess. Quickly, go and fetch Mother Alma and the novice Marie. Alma? Alma? Oh, he's arrived. The Grand Inquisitor. He's here already. Sisters, you will do as I told you and make preparations in case he wants to come in. Let's go down. He must not come inside. Your Excellency. My child. Father, I am grateful you came so quickly. We welcome your help and wisdom, Your Excellency. We regret that we visit the Abbey for sad reasons. Our burden dismays us. But God will help us, and I am delighted to see you. God bless you. What a pity. We will save the child. All is not lost. Grant us your benediction, Your Holiness. Santoriano, stop this coach. Stop in the name of His Majesty. I said stop in the name of Prince Emmanuel. What impudence. Who was that? I think it was the Inquisitor. And that young beauty? Most likely a witch, Your Highness. But who still believes in witches? The church itself. 
when it serves their purpose. Until you are able to stop them, they will continue to burn them at the stake. I intend to put a stop to all that. You are the novice, Maria Rosalia? Yes, Your Eminence. Do you admit to us you've sold your soul to the devil? Yes, I have done that. And under his influence, have you committed impure acts? Yes, I have done that. Is it true that you have given up your virginity to Satan and become his disciple? I have done that. But you are damnable. A heretic beyond a doubt. You must be put away while we decide your fate. We'll pray for your soul. Your Excellency must not forget to question the two miserable demons who were forced me into the sinfulness. That abbess known as the Grand Priestess and that so-called priest. It is they who worship the devil, not God. And they use the abbey for Satan's deeds. They did devilish things under the spell of Satan. I was their sacrifice. Your Eminency, don't listen to this. Slanderous witch. We want no more of this. We must burn the hell out of her. Love for the devil is in her very heart. What a vile creature she is. Honorable Abbess, dear Father Vincent, please compose yourselves. We will certainly be able to judge without help. We rule that she is guilty beyond a doubt. This judgment signifies that the accused woman will be burned at the stake in public, but the charges being made against you will be resolved at a special tribunal later. Do you mean to say we are to be tried on these false charges? then we must insist that you interrogate us immediately. Calm down. We do not put much importance on her words. The ravings of a sorcerer. We will assure you of that. But we are obliged to follow certain procedures which are required by the Holy Roman Church. But in our zeal, sometimes we overstep our divine sacred power. But don't worry, there is another way. Well, we might suggest that your accuser could retract her charges and sign a written document to that effect. Then we'd be able to erase her testimony, see? It is the custom. I hope for your sake she'll be able to write her signature. <laughs> it will save you the embarrassment of a public inquiry. You understand that whatever we must do should then be done to save her from the devil to tear her away from his clutches before she dies. Deny your slanderous lies. What lies? I told the truth. No. your lies. I told no lies. No. You will admit they were lies. <laughs> You'll sign now. Sign your name to the retraction. No, I won't do that. enough? Now will you sign your retraction? Admit your lies? Your sinful lies? Yes. You can release her now.
You have saved your soul. Let's go now. It's finished. Marie Roselia, the Holy Church grants you the salvation of your soul, for you have been found guilty of worshipping the devil, and you will be burned at the stake in a public place. God bless you. Oh, no. God help me.
power of the Vatican rests behind those walls. The eyes of the Holy Mother Church. I would prefer that they look away from me. That power is too often misused. They profess they can save a man's soul by torturing his body. Did you see them release that pigeon? Your eyes are failing, old friend. I believe it was a paper. Let's look for it. Is it a message from heaven, my prince? Listen to this. Dear God, please forgive me. The abbess of Serraderas and Father Vincent have involved me in a mortal sin. Tomorrow I burn at the stake and will go to hell. I will never see you in the hereafter. Yet in my heart I still remain your child, O oh heavenly father. With love, Maria Rosalia, a Portuguese nun. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificatum nomum tuum, adreniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sic et in celo sed in terra. Make way for the prince. Clear the way for his Christian majesty, Prince Manuel Gonzalez of Portugal. Stop the execution. And what right have you to stop this execution? Who commands it? The prince of Portugal. We find the accused, Mary Rosiala, not guilty. We insist that the true devil worshippers will burn instead. We may have made a mistake. Of whom do you speak? Her accusers? That's right, Father Vincent and that abbess. Arrest those two. You will certainly discover the truth of their guilt.